decided it's about time for me to go and do some more book shopping. It is currently the 27th of December, I wanna say. I feel like these days all blend together after Christmas, but I feel like it's the 27th of December and I want to go to Waterstones because Waterstones do like this half price hardback and some like sales and stuff on some of their paperbacks in, I think it's like the three days after Christmas. I think it's definitely Boxing Day and then I think it's 27th, 28th as well. And so I've decided that I'm gonna go to Waterstones. I got some money for Christmas. I'm gonna go buy some books. I have already ordered a load of books for myself for Christmas. You will see that in a video. I feel like you probably would have seen that before you see this video, but I do have some like physical money. That sounds so stupid to say, but I got like physical actual money for Christmas. So I would like to go to Waterstones to spend that. So that is my plan for the day. I'm gonna try to only buy books that are already on my like wish list, my Amazon wish list, because I feel like sometimes I go to Waterstones and I just get a little bit trigger happy and I buy whatever I kind of fancy, which yeah, it kind of makes sense. But books that are on my wish list are ones that I have. I know that I have an interest in. I have seen people review and enjoy them. So I feel like I want to try and focus on those ones. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna try and buy books that are already on my wish list or already on my radar and try not to stray too much from it and just buy random stuff. Cause so I feel like the books that end up sitting on my TBR for the longest are the ones that I go, oh, that sounds kind of cool, but I've never seen anyone read. And then they just sit there. I would rather have books that I know that I'm gonna read and enjoy. So I'm gonna go to a bookshop that's like 40 minutes away from me because <laughs> the one in my town is really small and there's one that's like a little bit further away that is massive. And I'm hoping that it will have a better selection. Last time I went, they had a really, really, really good romance selection. They had like a whole section, like a whole table and everything, which in the UK, I feel like we don't get that. I feel like I always see Barnes and Nobles videos and it's like loads and loads and loads of romance books, like a huge romance section. So I'm gonna go see, I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm gonna try and film while I'm in there and then I'm gonna do a little haul of the books that I have got. I think I'm gonna get about five. I think that is, that is my plan. So I will check in with you once I have bought all of the books and I'm gonna do a little haul. from book shopping excursion. It just took me an hour and 15 minutes to get back from this bookshop, which is literally meant to be like half an hour away from me. Um, <laughs> anyway, it is the 27th of December, hence why the traffic I think was so bad. But also I deliberately went to Waterstones because they did have a deal on, they do do like a half price hardbacks kind of sale thing around about Boxing Day. I think it's Boxing Day 27th, 28th, I'm pretty sure. And I didn't know about this until literally last year. And now I make it like a mission <laughs> to go. Even so I didn't end up actually buying any hardbacks because they did have quite a few on sale this is why i went to this specific one because the one in my town is small and i went there last year and they didn't really have anything in the sale because it's not all hardbacks it's just like some of them and they did have a good selection however i literally saw divine rivals for half price hardback so it was like seven pounds and i literally just bought it yesterday on amazon for like 14 pounds so <laughs> I saw that and my heart broke a little bit because I could have literally just picked it up from Waterstones. Anyway, I ended up buying five books. Um, I did try and film as much as I possibly could in the shop, but it was rammed. It was literally rammed. I feel like everyone was there spending like Christmas money, whatever. So I got five books in the end and I tried my best. As I said before, I wanted to only really get books that were on my wish list already that I knew I wanted to get because my wish list is already so huge that I kind of want to stick to that and not just buy random books for the sake of it because they could end up being books I didn't like. Anyway, I only bought one book out of these five that wasn't on my wish list. So that one was The Kiss Thief by LJ Shen. I have read, I think like three or four books by LJ Shen. Most of them have been on Kindle Unlimited. So I don't remember them very well. Like I don't remember <laughs> what they actually are because I don't own them. But I saw this on the shelves and I was like, I was kind of surprised that LJ Shen was like stocked in Waterstones. I feel like Waterstones isn't very good at having a good selection of like romances or like, I guess, spicy romances and I saw this and I thought it sounded cute. I've got no idea what it's about, but I think it's like a mafia romance thing. It's like an enemies to lovers. He's in like the rival mafia family, that kind of vibe. I mean, 
<laughs> I also just thought it was gorgeous as well. So yeah, I'm excited for this one. It's short, it's cute, it's LJ Shen. I have a good feeling that I will really like it. So I saw this one and thought, this is the one book that I will sacrifice for not being on my wish list that I will pick up. I then ended up getting two books by K.A. Tucker, which I didn't realise until I literally got into my car afterwards and looked at them and I went, mm, they're the same author. I haven't actually read anything, I don't think, from K.A. Tucker. And these two books in my mind are very different. So the first one I got was The Simple Wild. I, again, not really sure what this one is about, but this was on my wish list and has been for a long time, mainly because everyone that I have seen read this has loved it. I feel like that's the main reason that I wanted to own it was because literally everyone has loved it. And I don't really know what it's about other than it's like a romance thing. I think she moves back to be with her dad and ends up meeting a pilot and they end up having like a, a romancy thing. I think she is meant to be kind of this like city girl and he's like a country boy, that kind of vibe, that kind of vibe. But I don't really know. I've just seen that everyone found this amazing. I think it was like, I don't really know how to explain what I mean by that. I just think that people loved it because it was like, I don't know if it was, I don't know if it's sad or if it's heart wrenching, but everyone has just said that it was like beautiful. So that was, that was kind of my thinking behind this. And I saw it and I was like, that's on my wish list. Let's just get that one as well. Now the next one I got is also by K.A. Tucker and it's The Fate of Wrath and Flame. This is a fantasy romance. I put this onto my wish list literally yesterday because I saw it on Amazon literally yesterday. And then I was doing my one last circuit through the shop. I spent like two hours <laughs> in Waterstone. I was doing my last circuit through the shop and I saw this on one of the shelves that I just happened to have not looked at and it was in the fantasy section. And I, again, not really sure what this is about, but it is a fantasy romance thing. She is like a jewel thief. I think she ends up getting found out, goes to a different kingdom. Oh, it says she wakes up in the body of a treacherous elven princess. She wakes up in a different body and she is betrothed to the king. This princess is betrothed to the king and she has to hide her identity, I guess, and has to pretend to be in love with him. Okay, slay. <laughs> I didn't know that's what this was about, but that sounds like my kind of thing. And look how stunning this cover is. Again, I'm really hoping that I like this. I love romanticy. I am a fantasy romance girly. I love it so much. And I'm really, really hoping that I like this one as well. The next one I got was Better Hate Than Never by Chloe Lise. I have read the first book in this series, Two Wrongs Make a Right. And I actually really, really liked it. I ended up picking it up because I think I, it was like on sale for like a really, really, really small amount. And I ended up picking it up just kind of on a whim. And I read it towards the beginning of this year and I actually really liked it. I gave it like four stars. And so this is, I guess, the companion novel to it. I think it follows the sister from the first book. I think it's a friends to lovers kind of thing. So Kate ends up getting drunk and confesses to the love interest that she only was being rude to him because she thought that he hated her. And so it's like a whole, it's a whole thing. It's like a friends to lovers, but also I guess kind of dislike to love or at least inferred <laughs> dislike to love. Cute. I really liked the first book in this series and I literally again put this on my wish list yesterday because I didn't realize that there was a second one that come out and I didn't actually think it come out yet. I had a feeling that when I put it on my wish list, it hadn't actually been released yet. Like it was like a pre-order, but here it is. <laughs> So hopefully I'm gonna really like this one because I did like the first one. And then finally I have a book that I have had my eye on for probably like a oh, good two years. I wanna check when this came out so I'm not lying to you. This says it came out in 2023, but I think this edition just came out in 2023 because I've heard about this for like at least a good year. We have A Deal with the Elf King by Elise Kova. This is another fantasy romance. I have heard really, really good things. And this was like one of those classic OG fantasy romances, I feel like, like a good year ago, like a spicy fantasy romance. I feel like this was one of the OGs. But the back says, for centuries, the elves have taken a young woman from Luella, our main character's village, to be their human queen. And then I think that Luella thought that she had kind of gotten away from it, but then she ends up being chosen. So I think she then has to go to this like elf world. <laughs> And I'm assuming there's a romance in it. This is a long series. There are currently four books out, I believe. I don't know if they're all just interconnected standalones because this one is Elf King and then the other ones are Fae Prince, Vampire Lord and Siren Duke. So I'm assuming it's following different people in different books. But yeah, I thought this is also a very, very gorgeous book. So yeah, those are the five books that I ended up picking up on my book shopping excursion. I'm very happy with my selections because again, like I said, pretty much all of these oh, other than one were already on my wish list. So I feel like I haven't just bought books for the sake of buying books. I have bought books that I already wanted to own. That is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. It's probably a bit of a short one, but I feel like it was fun nonetheless. Again, all of my links are always down below. I have my Instagram, my Goodreads, my wish list. Everything is down there. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you whenever I next see you.